This video will show you how to, well, it will attempt to show you how to create a, um, um, a Windows CE application that will connect to a uh, SQLite database. And to do this, you will, uh, to go through this uh, video, you will need Visual Studio 2008, you will need uh, SQLite Admin, and a Windows CE device to deploy the application onto, and um, also the SQLite binaries. So let's go through that. Visual Studio 2008 is pretty straightforward. SQL Admin is... Here we are. So if you go to sqlite-admin.orbmutk.de and scroll down at this time, it's, uh, it's around February 2011. And uh, you'll see this link down here. Download that and install that. And this uh, SQLite admin is a really cool uh, GUI for creating your database, your SQLite database and tables. Um, it's, it's better than the Visual Studio 2008 designer. Uh, let's see. Also, you will need um, a Windows CE device and then the SQLite binaries. Um, if you go to SourceForge, um, and let's see, I'm not sure you'd search for uh, SQLite. And let's find this thing. Here we are. I believe this is the one. Yeah, if you go to ADO.NET 2.0 provider for SQLite and then browse all files and then click the SQLite for ADO.NET and then one the version 1.0.66.0 uh, the April 2010 release you will see the SQLite 1.066 uh, binaries uh, zip you will uh, want to download that and um, when you uninstall it or when you unzip it Let's zip it to this desktop right here and we can see what's going on. Uh, okay, I'm going to open up this uh, SQLite binary zip. And the one for the, um, the, one, the SQLite assembly that you want is the one that is located, located in the compact framework subdirectory. Um, we will be using all of these, uh, or mainly these two s assemblies here, the interop and the SQLite DLL. Uh, the SQLite DLL is the main assembly that does the SQLite database. And the interop, I believe, is the necessary assembly to make it work on Windows CE. That's my guess, but I tried it without the interop, and it doesn't work. I get a p-invoke error. Anyway, let's move on. So that's your, um, that is the requirements. So let's create a um, smart device application. And I'm just going to create, keep the default names. I'm going to target Windows CE. It's built. I'm going to reference the SQLite DLL assembly that was on my desktop. Now you can put this anywhere. Now make sure you, I choose the one that's in the uh, compact framework. And then I have to add to my project an existing item that interop back on my desktop. Show all files. So if I don't show this interop, it just doesn't work. And you know, I'm just going to put these three other two in there as well. So I'm going to add these to our project. And then I'm going to select these three. And the build action will be content. And it, you can copy if newer. Um, <coughs> the not sure exactly what's going on here, but you don't reference these guys, but the, um, the SQLite assembly will need this interop DLL. 
and it's got to be uh, in the same directory as the SQLite reference. So that was a kind of a tricky thing that was making me kind of mad. All right. Anyway, I don't think we need these EXP and the LIBs, but I just did it anyway. Okay, um, so now we have our project that um, is referencing the SQLite um, assembly. Now we're going to open up the um, SQLite admin interface, and we will create a database. So let's um, save the database in the new project that we had, that we just made. And we can put it in a folder called uh, data. Music. Music database. And now we're going to create a table that is called instrument. And we'll, we will add a field. It'll be an instrument ID. And this will be an integer. And we'll auto increment. And then we will add an instrument name. And this will be uh, in bar char. Let's give it a size of 20. And that'll be fine for now. And then we will edit our data. Put some fake data in there. So let's add a guitar. Let's add a bass. Got to have some drums. And whatever, a trumpet. OK. So now we can close this data folder. So show all files, and then we add the or select the include in project. <coughs> now, this is where our database is, um, for whatever reason we want that there. But uh, the most important thing now is let us add a button and a label, and we will um, make the program so that when you click the button, it'll uh, connect to the database and loop through the instruments table and display those instruments right here in this label. Pretty straightforward. OK, so the first thing we'll do is we'll create a query. And it's going to be select all from instrument. And then we will create a connection string. And this is, uh, we've got to get this right. This is on, a, on the compact PC, I mean the compact PC, the Windows CE device, um, the data source you have to just specify the path to the. Um, you have to specify the path to the database, but don't specify a drive letter. Like in a normal desktop, you would do something like that, but on a Windows CE, you disclude the um, drive letter and just put the slash program files, and we will put it in. Actually, this is easier to do this right here. Uh, I'll copy this smart do, do, do right here. I think this is going to be right. Okay. We need to make sure that this database goes along for the ride when we deploy it. So it's content, and we will copy if newer. newer. OK. Uh, now let's add a, um, a using to the uh, SQLite assembly here. And now we will create a SQLite connection. new SQLite connection and it's going to use our constring. 
then we'll create a SQLite command. There it is. CMD. And we need a SQL, new SQLite command. And then we're going to pass in our query to the instance, the constructor and the connection. Now we will open this connection. And now we are going to attempt to <coughs> Uh, read the data in there. So we'll put a try in here just for good measure. And SQLite data, SQLite data reader, excuse me. We'll have the reader. Okay. Let's close that. Oh, excuse me. What we want is if the, uh, <coughs> for some reason, if the uh, reader doesn't work, we'll catch that and we'll display that uh, in a message box. Okay, if it does work, then what we want to do is try to loop through the data. Put it clean thing up. Clean things up here. Okay, so now let's loop, loop through this um, reader. So while the uh, reader can read, we will add that data to the label. And let's see, what was it? The ID. and the name is what we want to see and that'll be fine enough okay so the reader let's get the first indexed uh, this is not what you would normally do um, this is the lazy way of doing it but it's it'll work Hopefully, anyway. Okay, let's see if this builds. Okay, we've got a successful build. Uh, I will try to, to deploy it right now. And I'm look. Okay, here we have my Windows CE device, which is happens to be a COM file QWin 5500. And um, hopefully you'll see here, uh, man, it sure is blurry. Um, well, that's a bummer. Well, in the URL there, or in the uh, directory path, it says Program Files Smart Device Project 12, because that's where we uh, told Visual Studio to deploy this application to. And you'll see the data directory, because we added that to... Um, the stuff that needs to be um, added to the content and uh, we see the SQLite uh, assemblies and we also see the Smart Device Project 12 executable. Now you can't read that from there I assume because it's too blurry but um, we're going to open it now the application and we'll see the form that pulls up and I'm going to click this button and we should see the instruments and there they are. Of course, you can't read it, but that says uh, ID one name guitar, ID two name bass, ID three name drums, ID four name or yeah, ID four name trumpet. So that was an example. Before you deploy the application to your Windows CE device, or even after it, it's good to know where. Visual Studio will deploy it to and so to find that out you would 
right click on your project and go to the properties and then if you click the devices tab you'll see the output file folder and so here we'll we see it's a, a program files variable slash smart device project 12 and uh, you see um, in this location of output on device a bunch of the uh, folder variables that uh, Visual Studio will give you the option to choose from. By default it goes to the program files in my case anyway. And so what we can infer from this is when we deploy this application to the smart device it will go to the smart devices program files um, path and then slash the name of the uh, project here.